Hi guys, this is Gamer Spawn and today I come back with a new gameplay of Ghost Recon Wildland Gameplay Walkthrough Part 13. So keep watching my video and leave a like, comment and share and click the subscribe button. Puzzlero. For serious? Psh, fuck no, I'm not that Diablo. I, I just drive the truck way, nada más. Tell me his name and where to find him. His name's Raul something. Raul Morillo. You sure you want me to tell you where he is? Motherfucker, tell me where El Puzzlero is. I ran out of patience two days ago. All right, I'll tell you where he is. But oh, we should have never found out. Okay. Roman, this is Nomad. The driver gave us El Puzzlero's real name. Raul Murillo. He also gave up Pozzolero's location. Outstanding. I'll run Murillo's name and send you whatever background I can find. This one's weird, Bowman. These cartel goons are staying away from El Pozzolero like he's got the plague. That might be why there's such little chatter about him. Be careful. There's a lot of unknowns here. Just make sure he's alive. Otherwise, we'll never get confirmation on the team. Just got a file transfer from Bowman. Looks like she was able to dig up some background on El Popolero. When I was a kid, we used to live over the train tracks. Every time a train went past, I would run into my mother's bed, and she'd assure me there was no such thing as monsters. She was such a liar. El Pozzolero, also known as the Stewmaker. Sometimes, the cartel needs a dead body to completely disappear without a trace. In such cases, they ship the cadavers off to San Mateo. The first thing El Pozzolero does is place the bodies inside a barrel, which he fills with caustic soda, sodium hydroxide, then covers the drums, stirring occasionally. After 24 hours, there's nothing left but a thick sludge, a stew. He pours this into a pit. Any leftover teeth or bone fragments, he smashes into dust. Last year, more than 300 people disappeared in San Mateo. Their families have no idea if their loved ones are alive or dead. They can't have proper burials. They can't have closure. The only one who knows what truly happened to these people is El Pozzolero, the monster who melted them. We've got a location on El Pozzolero. Go and get this bastard and bring him to me. He's got a lot to answer for. over here. 
around the truck. I got one narco at the entrance to the camp. That's pretty. A good brother died. He was a good friend of mine. Papa, all he was trying to do was feed his family, and these brutals killed him. For what? He never did nothing to you. My dude had three kids and a poor little boy. She's gonna be a girl, and her name's Paula. I hope you remember that name. I hope you haunt your dreams. I hope you choke on it and die. Vaya a chingar a la puta verga. Get back before they make you. That's a kill. Eyes on a narco with a submachine gun inside the warehouse. You guys smell that? Christ, the fuck is it? Death, man. Fucking death. Got eyes on Al Pozzolero. Remember, we need him alive. Ma? Ma? I'm fine, yes. They're gonna see you. No, Ramon. I know you. You are not fine. I am your mother. So don't lie to me. Ma? You know. You know it has changed my life. Carajo. I do the best I can not to think about it. But those bastards, esos hijo putas, ma. I'm helping them destroy my country, kill my people. Cariño, you only work for them. You hear me, Ramon? So stop doing that to you, chiquito. You are a hero. You are a survivor. You are doing that to protect the people. Hero? Soy un traidor. I've betrayed my people. They are holding Bolivia hostage. And I help them get to the people. I help them recruit sicarios using 12-year-old kids as cannon fodder. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't look at myself in the mirror. I helped kill. No, Ramon. Yo, cartel gunman. Listen, Over by the crate you are not a there you are. You do this to protect your familia. Manos arriba. Let me see those hands. Hola, señores. You're taller than the usual delivery people. You're coming with us, fuckface. Why are you angry with me? Estoy trabajando. I'm doing my work. This hombre ain't all there, man. Doesn't matter. We still exfil to the RP. Let Bowman have a look. Me doy. 
There's one last bad guy. That was close. Ya valió madres. Aquí están las armas. Wey. Pedo. Ya nos chingaron. Inigo Morales, district court judge, disappeared on his way home from work. Octavio Rodriguez, student activist, kidnapped by a gang of armed men outside a local bar, never seen again. Mirabel Castro, schoolteacher, last seen at an Unidad checkpoint in Santa Cruz. I remember her. She had beautiful skin, like an angel. There's a thousand more like them in this stack, you son of a bitch, and that's just this year. Every one of them had a family. People out of their minds with grief because their loved ones are gone. But they were dead. What else could I do? Midas thinks he's got the mind of a child. Probably has no idea what you're talking about. Well, he better have a fucking photographic memory. I want the names of every single person you put in one of those drums. I don't care how long it takes. Do you understand me? Yes. Okay. Then you will take me back, verdad? I must get back to work. I can handle stupid and I can handle grim, but I sure don't like seeing them in one package. He's not exactly stupid. He's emotionally underdeveloped. He didn't learn the proper way to react to the dead. Like his brain broke? He's disassociating. Exactly. I, for one, am not gonna let my kids burn ants anymore. El Mudo was going to try to kill me. 
just as I was going to kill him. Black is for vengeance. White is for safety. Gold is for success. Ahora, I ask you, how can any saint grant contradictory prayers from two different men? It has been my experience that gods always side with the man who has the most money, the most men, and the most power. I had lost the one man I could always trust, mi hermano. How many men would be more loyal to him than to me? How much power would he take? Would that be enough for him to take me out? I would always have an advantage, though. I grew up with the man. I knew how his mind worked. I knew his next move before he did. I just had to be patient. Roman, we're boots down a Romanzo. What have you got for us? Romanzo is a primary smuggling node for the cart. I'm back, Bowman. What happened? Wait, you know what? Never mind. Romanzo is a primary smuggling node for the cartel. They're using cutting-edge techniques to move product over the border, and security is tight. You'll have to gather intel on the network as you go and find ways to disrupt it. What do we know about the asshole in charge? The Buchan's name is El Gato. Fair warning, he's got a reputation for being unkillable. He obviously hasn't met us yet. Got any background on him? I'll put together what we've got and send it to you shortly. Copy that. We'll see what else we can find out. Just one. An unconfirmed report that Elgato set up one of his chemists with a special lab inside a Santa Blanca church. A church? I'm sending you the location now. You'll understand once you get there. Hold up. There's a weapons case here. Bowman's sending background on Elgato. The dude that thinks he can't be killed? This ought to be good. Your average cat, the four-legged variety, has nine lives. Elgato has had a lot more than that. He's been shot, stabbed, garroted, blown up, burned, thrown off a building, run over by a car, half drowned. But he always comes back. He carries a locket with his father's ashes in it around his neck. Snorts it when he needs strength. Says it's better than coke. It's the real power that comes from death. A packaging manager in Romanzo province, he's been working for Santa Blanca since he was 16. His father was the plastic surgeon to the stars, movie stars, and star narcos. But then, his father had a big narco boss on the table and lost him. They both knew what that meant. A long death by torture. Elgato loved his father. So he decided not to let that happen. Who wants to fuck with the cartel by hijacking the supply chopper and handing it to the rebels? That's a double win for us.
got something. Looks like directions to a site where the cartel prepares its drug mules. Bowman's gonna want to hear about this. Bowman, this is Nomad. We've got intel on a site where the cartel's turning locals into drug mules. We've known for a while that El Gato's been running mules out of Romanzo. He's got a handful of doctors that perform the procedure, implanting balloons of cocaine in different places on a person's body. Up to now, the place has been hard to pin down because it shifts locations every couple of months. What's the play here? We raid this place, won't they just relocate? Not if you kill the fucking docs. Seriously? Look, we're not talking Florence Nightingale here. They take desperate people and make them swallow anywhere from three to five kilos of cocaine. Sometimes they implant the balloon surgically to hide even more. Trust me, you'll be saving lives by killing these sick fucks. Understood. We'll get it done. That's a kill. La búsqueda no dio resultados. El enemigo se ha retirado. Let's go activate that rebel radio transmitter and help him get out the good word. Going to be a lot of SP once we do. shipping manifest from the quinoa processing plant. What's the cartel want with boxes of quinoa? Holt, what's your take on the cartel using the quinoa processing plant to smuggle coke? That sound right to you? Drug smugglers have tried that shit plenty of times in the past, but never on this kind of scale. Here, the cartel can get the cocaine into the boxes as they come off the plant's assembly line. The inner bags get an airtight seal, and the quinoa helps conceal the scent from drug sniffing dogs. Pretty fucking devious, you ask me. Then the plant's a legitimate target. Let's get after it. This will help us track down a cartel enforcer. Pound some fear into this shitbird. Got something here. These financials show the cartel's pouring serious money into an energy drink plant here in Ramanzo. Something called Electro. What for? No idea. So let's kick it up to Bowman and see if she knows anything. Bowman, you got anything on the cartel smuggling cocaine in an energy drink called Electro? That matches some of the rumors I've heard. The cartel supposedly developed a kind of liquid cocaine. Odorless, colorless, hard to detect with chemical sensors. So they hide it in the drinks and then extract it once it's delivered. Damn. We need to shut this place down. Get inside the plant and blow the liquid storage tanks. That should do the trick. We're on it. Chopper inbound. <laughs> Don't 
She went after me with a tire iron. She was passionate. She spotted one with submachine guns. She wanted to marry me. I heard she didn't age well though. Roger, I got a narco over here. I don't see him. So. There, by the container. Copy that. But we'll be back with more story time with El Gato. I got a Dang it, Jamar. What's the guys? word? Target acquired. Stay the boy. Narco news flash. Target acquired. Say the word. A master in the art of making horses disappear. Hostile down. Oh, hell, they found their buddy. Word on the street is that El Pozolero put up. That was fucking close. But he was snatched from his suit. Got a third target. Keep moving. Hell, sounds like a thing. Roger. Okay, see that building up there? Looks like a methadone clinic. It used to be the Maccabi Town Dispensary. It's where the cartel loads its mules up. You mean make them swallow them? Orally is one way. Basically, you got an orifice, they put cocaine in it. And when they run out of holes, there's always the surgical method. Coming up on the objective now. Get ready. They perform surgery on people. We got a man down. And he added a C and an accent. Now his next is cliche. <laughs> Let's get back on mission. Flores tatted on your necks. Uh, oh. Now, I don't know what the beauty queen herself thinks of all this. But we're on the line with Darius. Hang on, I'm coming. Fucking hell. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, so leave a like, share and comment and subscribe this channel.